Okay, this is the third time trying this. <laughs> if this doesn't work, I'm getting ready to destroy an iPad. I don't know why it keeps messing up the time. So it said I did a five minute video and I looked up and said 22 minutes. So that couldn't have been right. What I want you to do is on a, a piece of paper, doesn't have to be a new piece of paper, number 118. We're going to take a little quiz here. Pop quiz. All I want you to do is write the answer down. Write the answer down. So, turn this off until you got 18 spaces written down. Okay. Number one, give an example of a real number. Two, give an example of a rational number. Three, Give an example of an irrational number. I-R-R-A-T-I-O-N-A-L. Irrational for number three. Number four. Give an example of an integer. Number five. What's zero divided by six? Number six. What's six divided by zero? Number seven, what's zero divided by zero? Number eight, what property is A parentheses B plus C? Nine, when you're multiplying or dividing an inequality by a negative number, what do you do to the inequality? Okay, when you're solving inequalities and you get all reals, is that an and or is that an or? That would be number 10. Number 11, when you're solving inequalities and you get no reals, is that an and or is that an or? Number 12. When you're solving inequalities and it's going in the same direction, which one gives you uh, the longer one? Would that be an and or would that be an or? Number 13. When you're solving inequalities, this is 13. When you're solving inequalities and it's the same direction and it's the shorter one, is that and or is that or? 14. If x equals negative 6, if x equals negative 6, what's the opposite of x? 15. If x equals negative 6, what is x squared? 15. If x equals negative 6, what is x squared? So 14, if x equals negative 6, what is the opposite of x? 15, if x is negative 6, what is x squared? 16, what's 10% of 40? 17, what's 20% of 80? So 16 is 10% of 40. 17 is 20% of 80. And 18 is what's 1 to the 31st power. 1 to the 31st power. Okay, let's look at your answers now. Number 1. Give an example real number. Any number you've ever seen is real. Oh, let's take a break. Dr. Pepper. Ooh, may give you heartburn. But it's a good heartburn. Number two, rational number. That's anything that can be a fraction. So any decimal that stops or repeats, like 0.3333 forever, is rational. Three is irrational. That's anything that cannot be a fraction. So examples, pi. Um, if you know radicals, any radical that doesn't simplify to get rid of the radical is irrational. If you don't know radicals, 
Leave it alone. Integer. It's any number that's written over 1. So 5, 6, 7, 0, negative 1, negative 2. 5. What's 0 divided by 6? And that's 0. 6. What's 6 divided by 0? That's undefined. If 0 is on the bottom, it's undefined. That is true all the time. So what is 7? 0 divided by 0? Undefined. 0 is on the bottom. 8. What property is A parentheses B plus C? That's the distributive property. 9. What do you do when you're solving linear inequalities and you multiply both sides by a negative or divide by a negative? You switch the inequality. 10. And or or. Which one's all reals? Or. 11. Which one's no reals? And. 12. If they're the same direction, it's the longer one. That's or. 13. Same direction. Shorter one, that is and. 15. If x equals negative 6, then the opposite of x is 6. You're taking two negatives, and the opposite of a negative is a positive. 15. If x equals negative 6, what's x squared? Well, you have to use parentheses, so it's negative 6 squared, which is 36. 16, 10% of 40, you move the decimal over 1, so that's 4. 20%, you move it over 1 and double it, so 8 times 2 is 16. 1 to the 31st power, that's 1. 1 to any power is 1, because 1 times 1 is 1, times 1 is 1, times 1 is 1, times 1 is 1. Well, I just wanted to stimulate your brain a little bit. We might have a pop quiz, uh, not tomorrow Tuesday but eventually but I'll see you bye